Sam never met her dad. She was still in her mother's womb when he was killed by the Burmese army after days of beatings and torture. Recently, her husband was also killed defending a village from the army's attack. He died unaware that San, now 28, was carrying their fourth child. San was forced to flee the jungle. For months, the family endured dirty water and a lack of food. They suffered from stomach problems, dehydration, and skin diseases as bombings continued and military planes flew overhead. They prayed for God's help, and after three weeks of walking, they found shelter with our partners who have loved and cared for them. San says, I don't know our future, but I know that it is in God's hands. I know that my husband is safe and one day we will meet again. If I don't have God, I have nothing. But because of God, I still have a future for me and my four children. So reading this, I really feel challenged and inspired by the sense of hope that San carries even after enduring such you know, suffering and trial and loss and disease that even through all of that, there's still an anchor of hope that there's a future, that there is good coming in the goodness of God, the deliverance of God, the salvation of God. Um, I just, yeah, I just feel that real sense of hope that pulls us toward God is good and He's gonna pull us through whatever.